What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap, and today we're going to go on a test drive. We're going to do my test route with FSD Supervised version 12.3.4. Guys, I'm really, really excited to do my test route here with FSD Beta version 12. If you checked out last week's video, you got my genuine first reaction of what it's like to drive version 12. Now, being that I've gotten really used to how version 11.4.9 drives, all that herky-jerky stuff, I was really quite used to it. It didn't seem to bother me. But the great thing is I've got uh, Diane with me, who was in that video last time as well. And as a passenger who's not used to version 11's quirks, she really noticed the difference a drastic difference in smoothness. So you get to hear her commentary as well today as we do my test route here with version 12. All right guys, so we are filming in 4K and hopefully the audio is gonna be good. We're using the uh, universal mic so that we don't have to volume level between the two of us. And where we're gonna go is over here to the Oak Point Nature Preserve. It's got these uh, beautiful trails over here uh, around a little pond. And I'm gonna even see if maybe uh, supervised FSD will park for us. So let's pick a spot that's more likely to have some open parking, maybe like over here. I'll set a pin there, and we're not going to navigate over there. And we're off. There we go. Beta is engaged. By the way, we are on the assertive setting, and we are doing the automatic uh, speed adjustment. So she's going to decide all of that stuff. So let's see how she does with the gate. And then Diane, feel free to chime in any time if you want to share with us kind of how this compares to the way that she drove just, well, yesterday. Sure. All right, we're a little close to the gate here, but we stopped in time. I'm a little worried that she's going to have to turn left to, uh, to clear the path. So let's see what happens here. She's turning left. Good. Good. Keeping a close eye. Excellent. Good Excellent. clearance there. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this part used to be super herky-jerky. Actually, Diane, you never experienced this because I always did it manually. Yes. Because I knew it would be really annoying. Oh, gosh. But, but that was perfect. Mm. That really was. I'm excited. Okay, we've got a car coming on our left. And a couple cars behind that, so she's being pretty cautious here. We're going to be clear in just a moment, just completely wide open. Ooh! We started inching up even before the car had passed. Perfect. Oh, Perfect turn. Butter smooth. Butter smooth. And what a beautiful day to go test driving FSD. Yes. It's a gorgeous day. Okay, pretty good. I might have stopped a little bit more gently, but not bad. No, not a bad at all. No, she doesn't jerk at all. Mm -mm. Much better than before. Yes, much better. <laughs> the old version would sometimes kind of um, oscillate on the brakes off and on really quickly and loudly. Yes, yes she did. Uh, that's yeah. not comfortable for the passenger. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Quite frightful. <laughs> oh God, the really scary one was on, um, we did a, a, a left turn at the major intersection coming up there. And she crossed over too many lanes as we went and ended up in a left turn only lane. Yes. You remember, I remember that? that? Yes, I do. <laughs> sure? It was very scary. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this isn't going to happen again. That actually made Diane yelp quite loudly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no yelping today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But I do have my hands on the wheel and I've got my feet ready to uh, intervene with the brakes and accelerator if needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be safe here, and those of you that are getting the free trial out there, do be safe using the software. It, um, don't get complacent. No. If you do enjoy it, Tesla's reduced the price of the uh, full side driving uh, subscription to just $99. Which, you know, I, I paid $5,000, so uh, good for you guys. <laughs> 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 but no, I think it's great. Very nice. In the past, she probably would have overreacted to that car coming. Yes, she would have. Uh -huh. Yes. That sound you just heard was the nag, making sure that I'm paying attention 
and uh, putting some torque on the steering wheel. Okay, here we go. We got a left turn coming up. Let's see what lane she decides to take. A little indecision there, but uh, in the end she decided this lane's best. Even the indecision is smoother than she would have done in the past. Much smoother. I think before it would kind of break a lot, right? Yes, Rather than break, continue. Break, go, break, go, break, stop. Break, <laughs> I mean, break, go, break, go. <laughs> yeah. So that doesn't inspire confidence so much. Whereas this does. Definitely. All right, so here we go. We're about to get on the highway. And for this portion of the drive, guys, um, it's really more about what the transition is from version 12, which is on city streets, to the old version 11, which is on the highway. So we're not really expecting any major changes in highway beha behavior, hopefully no regression. So let's see what happens. So here we go, doing a good job signaling before making the lane change, making the lane change smoothly, and now we're getting on the highway. Our speed's appropriate, very happy with everything so far. Oh, tell me to pay attention. And we should be switching over. You may see some changes in the visualization as we pop over to the version 11 stack. Maybe not. Things are looking pretty similar here so far. Let's see what happens. But that was a smooth merge. Very happy with that. Beautiful. Okay, we're changing lanes nice and smooth. And there we go. So in one and a half miles, we're going to take an exit on the right. Yep. As you can see here now, the max speed is set at 80, meaning that we're no longer on the V12 stack. This is the old version 11 highway stuff. But she's doing great. It's coming up in six tenths of a mile and I think she might be being a little bit more patient even though we're in assertive mode or in the past she might try to um, go into a faster lane until just the last last minute uh, Diane's a little bit worried here I'm not sure why though we kept a very safe distance from the she car did, in front of us she did perfect right yes I was just uh -huh. a little hesitant there. and then that white Cadillac you can see up there that one had started to kind of come into our lane a little bit um, but uh, Nat the car uh, did a good job of keeping away from her and nothing happened. It was right. fine. She did great. Yeah, no overreactions, no underreactions. No. This no is our exit. No mm -hmm. sudden stops. Mm -hmm. So here we go. And we should have a nice smooth transition to V12. Yep, there's the auto speed limit. Beautiful. They may have been adding more of the end-to-end -end stuff onto the highway. It's hard to tell, but that transition seems smoother than what I've seen. Um, in videos posted on X. Here we go. I think she was a little worried about that CRV maybe coming into our lane. Ooh, and we got a guy right on our tail, right on our tail. Very impatient truck. But uh, yeah, he moved over. He's passing on our left now. So here we have a not so friendly F 150. Have a great day, buddy. <laughs> We're going to give him all the fingers in a wave. <laughs> Pretty patient, even for assertive. We're only going 42 miles an hour. This is a 50 mile an hour road. But we do have to make a right turn in three tenths of a mile, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, not sure why. They wanted me to pay extra attention there, but maybe we can figure out the pattern. Yep. Well, those things are everywhere. I know. Yeah. 
never seen one say all that. All, like all of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. I know, it's crazy. Okay, this will be easy. We have a green light for the right turn, so no challenge there. Oh, we got a yellow, but nice and smooth. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. This is great. Okay, appropriate lane change. We have a left turn coming up in six tenths of a mile. And in a little ways, we're going to have our first really big challenge, uh, which is at least last time when we get to this right turn up here, there was a bunch of construction going on and uh, she kept missing the turn. And since we are testing supervised FSD, we're going to let her make any mistake she's going to mistake as long as they're safe. Gotta be safe. Mm -hmm. So she misses the turn, she misses the turn, we'll see if she can make a U-turn. And uh, hopefully it's not an infinite loop of missing the turn and doing a U-turn. <laughs> But we'll see what happens. Okay, good. Signal came on early. We're moving over to the correct turn lane. Perfect. She's so smooth. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> it's crazy this is the same car. I know. Feels like a completely different car. Let's see how she does on these. Is she going to cross this dotted line or not? Uh, pretty Did a pretty good job she of staying did, to the right of yeah, it. Yeah, she did good. The previous version would do some weird stuff on that turn. At some point I'll try to put together um, a video that shows you 11 versus 12 on the same maneuvers. So we'll get a sense of what the improvement is. Okay, so we got our right turn in 3 tenths of a mile. And this is the one that's been tripping everybody up. Uh, Tripping all the versions of version 11 up a lot. So she seems to be aware that the road's closed up there, but it hasn't moved over yet. I would have done it already. Here we go, signaling and moving over much earlier than version 11 would. Yes. But here's the tricky part we gotta make this right turn. So is she gonna make the turn? Because version 11 never even came close to doing this. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh, she did it! Whoa! Fantastic! That was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh! Holy moly! <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I'm just chuffed to bits. <laughs> that was great. All right, we got a pretty sharp turn here. This used to trip her up, and then we'll be at our destination. Nice, nice. Very Avoided the curve. Nice. Now, sometimes. FSD 12 will park itself. I don't know if she's going to do that today, but if she does, that would be pretty cool. So we're just going to see what happens. Now, you do have to be careful. Uh, there was an instance where uh, a gentleman let FSD park itself, but uh, the nose hit another car during the maneuver. So something to be <laughs> watchful for. Okay. All right. Stopping right at the line. Very nice. That's an improvement. Eleven would often stop kind of in the wrong spot there and did really crazy herky-jerky behavior in this parking lot. This is a massive improvement. Absolutely massive. Okay, we're passing our pin. So it's possible she's going to look for a parking spot. I am not sure what she's going to choose to do because she's continuing forward now beyond our navigation pin. Seems like she's kind of looking around, kind of deciding what to do. So it says navigate on autopilot ending. Oh, nice job waiting for her. Okay, this is it. She says that she's arrived at her destination. So, no parking this time, but still pretty cool. Wonderful. Uh, let's do the auto park and see how that works. Tesla's been working on this. It um, should be improved in the next version. This version that we're working on right now um, is still pretty slow. As you can see here, we're, we're going to have to make uh, multiple maneuvers in order to uh, to get in there, whereas maybe I could have done it in one. Well, maybe not. The angle wasn't that great. I didn't set her up for success. But I think we're going to have to do at least two 
tries here. Let's see what happens. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Perfect. The tar is perfect. Oh, that was awesome, guys. So this was really door to door, almost entirely not driving her on the shelf. And that's, yes. that's pretty incredible. It was a wonderful drive. So there you have it guys, that's the test run using FSD Beta version 12 and I, all I can say is I'm blown away. This version is absolutely amazing, it's crazy that Tesla can put these updates out over the air and your car can drive so much better and I'm really looking forward to seeing continued improvement this year as future versions uh, come out which should be happening much much more quickly with much much less chance of any kind of regressions because of the new architecture, the way they're doing things and because of the added compute that Tesla says they have. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.